good morning this lecture i have prepared from the first unit and basically this uh, is a revision lecture from the first unit and i will be covering the topics that would uh, that actually makes the fundamental for this subject like uh, what is the definition for the uh, design of electrical machine and how a computer help us to uh, reformulate and systemize the design process especially when the equations involved in the design of electrical machine are non-linear in nature so let's start with the first slide this is uh, this depicts the course objective course objective is to introduce the machine design process and also to know various methods of optimization and solution along with uh, how to once the formulations for the design is uh, com are completed then how to formulate the codes with the help of uh, various algorithms for final uh, computer application by various programming course objective these are divided uh, into five course outcomes once the objective is fulfilled so the fulfillment of the objective comes out uh, in the form of outcomes so if we complete suppose this is a topic from the first unit so if we complete this topic then we would be able to uh, able to classify and describe the computer aided design problem using a mathematical programming methods its formulation various techniques based and uh, among the various te techniques non-linear and linear programming methods and its solutions are in your syllabus then the methods of solution as unconstrained optimization and constrained optimization so these formulates uh, the outcome for the from the first unit and similar similarly we have uh, outcomes for the unit 2 3 4 and 5 under co2 co3 and co4 respectively these outcomes are mainly derived from the course content and as you know the syllabus is divided into five units first is the introduction part and which mainly discussed with the mathematical formulations under the linear non-linear constrained and constrained optimization problems and how these equations look like and what are the various methods of solution second unit deals with the DC machine optimal design third unit power transformer optimal design fourth unit three phase alternator optimal design and fifth unit three phase induction motor optimal design these are the books prescribed uh, most of the books like uh, the second one electrical machine design one is the first prescribed book for as a textbook and everyone must have a copy of it personal in your personal library uh, and the second book is uh, of importance for us is uh, M. Rama Murthy, Computer Aided Design of Electrical Equipment. And most of the first unit contents will be available in this book only. It is uh, prescribed that the third book, that is by Performance and Design of AC Machine by M. G. C. If uh, you have any doubt related to the fundamentals of the machine, it is prescribed that uh, you should go through the contents of uh, those machines from this book. Although many of you have read the basic machines performance and design part from the PS Bhimra and uh, So, 
so uh, P.S. Bhimra and, uh, and Ashwak Hussain also so uh, this gives you more systematic and in-depth idea of the design features especially the material involved in the uh, design of a machine and and uh, its uh, performance and finally the the comparative analysis of its performance is uh, vividly given in this uh, book MGC SK Sain and uh, performance design of DC machine by Clayton and Hancock can be a reference book for us as you can see there are multiple topics that can be covered under machine design and which is not uh, explicitly mentioned in the syllabus so I have derived some of the subtopics from the textbooks uh, various textbooks and these are the topics that need to be covered under the syllabus of uh, CA CAD AMP so starting with the definition design is defined as a creative physical realization of theoretical concept if there is some theoretical concept maybe it's a law fundamental law or some theorem or some physical phenomena if you can realize it physically then we call it a design so the creation first comes in your mind you have the power of your thinking thoughts then if you can imagine that new creation then you can create it so this is how it take place and finally you have uh, some physical form or body that can be created and that is started from your conceptualization of that particular product engineering involves the economical analysis when a scientific principle adds up with the economics of that problem then it gets its engineering prop uh, engineering value otherwise if you eliminate these two or omit these two aspects cost and durability from its design part then it has no engineering value so a design is subordinated to the question of economic manufacturing so engineering design by definition it's an application of science technology and invention to produce machines to perform specified tasks with optimum economy and efficiency so the major consideration in a good design is always three first is cost second is durability and third is compliance with the performance criteria as as laid down in the specifications design of electrical machine in present era should satisfy some of the important criteria like the performance to technical specification and what is the cost and is it satisfactory to the customer or not and how much long this particular machine can work and that too satisfactorily and uh, can the same machine be used for various other purpose and last one is but the important if it anyhow if it needs maintenance then how the maintenance cost or its process whether it would be complex or it would be easy so these forms the design criteria for the electrical machine manually if you know that it is very time consuming always to design when a, uh, when it's uh, the task is to design a very complex machine like induction machine or so and it involves lots of manpower and at the end the accuracy always is at the risk so if you involve a computer in between 
so what happens you have your own imagination power that would remain intact with you you can realize with the help of uh, giving it to giving it a physical form but in that process if you can instead of simply uh, imagining or uh, simply uh, if you have uh, any idea within your mind if you can just simply involve computer animations or softwares just to see it before you can realize it physically and uh, you can simulate the conditions and so that you can ascertain most of the economical aspects and its design features and performance right before finally giving it a some physical form so when you use a computer in the design of a machine then that the subject transforms to computer aided electrical machine this design this is how you have to understand uh, the the introduction of this machine uh, this uh, machine design process so obviously there will be advantages of using a digital computer so these are enumerated under various uh, subheadings uh, if I mention some of the salient points like the advantage could be of computers that can store large amount of data you don't need, uh, need to remember the the design stuff uh, various tables comparatives and all can these data can be stored uh, all these informations can be stored in the form of data and uh, there can be uh, you can select the best design out of out of the various outputs from the computer and you can optimize that with respect to cost or its performance you can have many internal loops uh, which can again and again be run uh, and there can be a faster performance and these programs uh, will uh, make the different design to to be compared easily and uh, ma many arithmetic operations can be performed very high speed automatic operations can uh, be produced from computer and the the probability of the error actually reduces especially the manual errors uh, in case of computers and uh, there is always a chance to get economically and phys economically feasible designs with the help of digital computers and uh, they can easily means they are able to take uh, logical decisions when uh, properly being uh, programmed and it saves many man hours of the engineers so here we stop this topic in the next uh, part of this lecture we will be discussing about the limitations of the design of electrical machines thank you